Okay, remember please to have the courtesy and close your laptops while people are presenting. That's a courtesy requirement at this point, since we all seem to be distracted. Um, once again, close them down. Thank you. Too. No. Oh, yeah, I need to get you on microphone. Okay? That should be work. Yep. Mm -hmm. You have a little red light on there on the top? Yeah, don't Is that yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay, and we have you framed in here. Okay, go ahead and introduce yourself and let us know who you're talking about. Say hello to the world, and uh, I'll be quiet. Three, two. Hello, my name is Navdeep and I'm going to talk about the Comcast. So let's start it. Okay, Comcast is the, what is, it brings together the best in the media and the technology. And uh, it has the primary two businesses, which are the cable, Comcast Cable and the NBC Universal. And uh, Com uh, Comcast Cable was uh, originally formed by the American Cable System in 1963. We'll go through the history later on. So let's talk about the first of the primary business, that is the Comcast Cable. And talk to uh, us, Navdi. Not to the screen, talk to us. Okay. Okay, uh, so this is uh, the Comcast, uh, one of the principal business of the Comcast, the Comcast Cable. And uh, it has the nation's largest video, high-speed internet, under the name of the Xfinity, and also provides the services to the business. And the other primary business which gave money to the Comcast is NBC Universal. It operates with uh, 30 news channels and entertainment of um, cable network and uh, television production and uh, television stations and universal pictures and we will find out the some of the channels of the NBC Universal such as uh, Telemundo, NBC Sports, uh, Daily Candy, Hulu and <coughs> so on. Okay, a little bit of history. As I told before, it was founded in 1963 and uh, it founded in the Mississippi. Wow. And, uh, yeah. That's come a long way from a local cable company in Mississippi yeah. to the large... Yeah. yeah, it has a great history because I got it here. That uh, it was founded in 1963 and was a single system cable system and uh, with, with 1,200 subscribers. Since then, they have grown to the nation's leading provider of entertainment, information, and communication. And now they have only for the cable customers, they have 24.4 million cable customers, and 14.7 high-speed internet customers, and 6.1 million digital voice customers in 39 states. It started with only um, 1,200 customers in 1963. And the founders are Ralph Daniel Julian, and the headquarters is in Philadelphia. And uh, this Comcast is a public uh, company. They were NBC Universal was a General Electric company, and Comcast recently bought the remaining portion of it. So your data there is a little bit over from last year, but now yeah. Comcast owns 100% yeah. of NBC. Yes. Which and the theme parks and Universal Studios yeah, no. and Universal Pictures. So now Comcast, as a, content, as a cable distributor, owns one of the largest media production companies. You yes. ever see Universal Pictures? Yeah, Comcast owns them. Yeah, because it's the largest cable company and the nation's third largest uh, home phone service. And there you go, you're talking about yeah. it right there. I'm sorry for interrupting. Yeah. Okay, no problem. <laughs> yeah. uh, so these are the main products. They sell the cable communication, broadcast television, theme parks, cable networks, and film entertainment. We go through it. 
So here's the cable communication which offers the video high speed internet, voice services and it's all under the brand of Xfinity and also provides the business services, not only the, uh, the local services, in, uh, uh, you know, also the uh, lo uh, business services and such as Ethernet network, network and online advertising. And uh, the other product they sell, the cable network, and uh, it has the uh, national cable entertain entertainment, national cable news and information, cable sports, and uh, international cable networks as well. And another product is the broadcast television, it comprises the NBC and Telemundo broadcast networks, and uh, broadcast for television production operation, all related to the media properties. Another product is the film entertainment, which uh, they also produces, acquires and distributes the film entertainment, as you told before, under the universal pictures and the focus, feature, uh, focus features and illumination name. So, going to our original discussion of distribution in the class, they're buying content. Yeah. They're distributing content. Yes. They're producing content. Yes. Under the producing content under Universal Pictures, Focus, Feature, and Illumination. Yeah. They're distributing content yeah. under NBC Television and Telemundo. Yeah. And they're distributing as well under the uh, cable franchise. Yes, and the cable. And then they're adding on top of that high-speed data yeah. infrastructure, In telephone country. services, that's, and everything else. Yeah. That's why they are the third uh, largest company in all over the world. In what respect? In revenues? In employee size? What makes in them? Revenues. In revenues. In revenues. I'll go. I'll go. Through. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. And uh, the last product they also own the theme parks. Yeah. <coughs> theme parks and the studios and the dining and retail. All, everything they all the money that comes to them. They do all the things and they don't need to buy some products from other. They don't need to spend money. All the money they are making by themselves. Okay, so the theme parks, they own Jurassic Park, they own Back to the Future, they own all of those components that are, how many people have been to Universal Orlando or Universal Studios LA? So all of those components in there, they own the rights to them. And so it's another distribution, the experiential entertainment that they're dealing with. Uh, from the properties that they own, that they don't have to license to. Yeah. So these are the principal products there on Comcast Corporation. And the SIC code is this one I got from this website. And there is a little business information about the annual revenue. It's twenty thousand to fifty thousand million. And. Uh, yeah, it's just one local chapter. Yeah. And uh, here it says uh, how big is the industry, the largest. This is the one of the most that produce uh, mass media communication in the world by revenue. This is the third largest company. And uh, it has the largest cable company, home internet to the United States, and uh, also the home telephone to the local, to on all over the United States. And uh, the competitors, and they have. I've only got to the three of them. Okay. Um, and they are uh, DirecTV, Dish and Dish Network Corporation, Time Warner Co Cable Corporation. These are the principal competitors with the uh, Comcast. And how do they differ, or how do they compete? How are they the same? How are they different? I didn't get this information. But can okay. So DirecTV and Dish yeah. are satellite. Okay. So they do not use physical infrastructure to distribute the content. Mm -hmm. Time Warner has a physical plant, okay. a physical distribution plant. Mm -hmm. Time Warner also owns Warner Brothers Pictures. Yes. And they are a content producer mm -hmm. and distributor okay. and cable company. Okay. So they're very similar. If you look at the line items in their revenue, mm -hmm. They're the closest, okay. and I don't know what the revenue difference. Are they number two? Are they number three? Where does Time Warner sit in comparison to yeah, Comcast? Because it has more similar to the Comcast than the other one, because the other one have only satellites. And Correct. 
They do the content and they distribute and they do. Right, they create it, they produce it, they distribute it, they market it, okay. um, and they have their own television stations. Is there a Warner Brothers theme park? Looney Tunes, has anybody seen it? I think they partner with somebody okay. on that. They're in the theme park space as well, but I have to check that. Okay. And uh, here are the revenues that uh, I got it here. In it increased by 12% since the compared to the last year to 62.570 billion. And uh, reflecting the strong organic growth in both co uh, cable communication and the NBC Universal, two of the primary business they have. And here we have the revenue and financial data. It has about 18 million broadcast, broadband uh, internet subscribers. And uh, the Xfinity has a telephone service with more than 9 millions of customers all over the United States. <coughs> and uh, here are the revenues. Here it says, um, you want to. And here we can see how they wow. increased from the 2008 until 2012. In four years, they yes. doubled. Yeah, they doubled. They, they did a very good business because they they could distribute and they and everything, so they can they make a good. And they have more customers now because of the high speed they offer and the, the good services and everything. And here I did the SWOT analysis. Those friends is they provide the rebranded triple play services and the cable, cable internet access, and the telephone. Three of the main things that uh, they, they catch up for the customers. And uh, they possess the regional varies to entry because they own the, all the exclusive dedicated rights, as you told before, that they have got everything. And um, they are the leaders because due to the stable business and high margins. These are the strengths. These are strengths of the cable portion of the industry. Yeah. Of the physical plant distribution yeah. side. Um, there's nothing here that speaks to the other, uh, the distribution side, the content creation side, any of these sort of things. So uh, just so everybody's clear, this is dealing with the triple play Comcast Wires only for the cable, right? For the cable, okay. And the weaknesses are the the increasing programming expenses, and the uh, industry requires the capital expenditures to provide the service to the customers. And DNS was now is incompatible with the DN. I don't know exactly what is that. Why you put it there? That meant that their servers had problems connecting people, yeah. basically. So their their quality of service was a, has been a problem. Yeah. Okay, so the opportunities, now they are the trends of everything to 3D television, which is immune to piracy, and the growing di uh, digital cable and internet access to market, and uh, commercial business services to SMB, expand its horizon by equations and uh, joint ventures. Okay, speak to us about Tell me what you understand about each of those opportunities. That uh, the, now they are moving to the 3D because the other one, they, the other, you can you can download the other um, other um, programs and serials and everything on the internet. So the, with the 3D, it's uh, immune to piracy. That they cut the roots for the people who who do the piracy on the internet, so that they have to buy the product and they can watch the product in place of uh, doing the piracy and uh, now the digital growing of digital cable media and internet access market is um, all over the places the internet is is growing more than the than the digital than the tv at itself because we can for we can follow all the um, serials and everything all the pictures through the internet access so this is this is the opportunity that the people will for, will get more for the internet and uh, they, as they provide for the internet and the telephone and the cable everything for that okay and 
they are i think this is the what they are going to expand for the joint ventures mm, for the more other com other companies do you know if they've acquired anybody they have a history of acquisition um, what type of companies they have acquired no I didn't. Okay, so that's something to look at is if they're expanding, the fastest way to expand mm -hmm. is to acquire somebody. Okay. And uh, here are some of the treats that uh, they got from the surveys that they have the poor customer satisfaction, poor results in the customers, uh, they did the surveys and the day by day the co con content is increasing by price. So maybe that's why some this this causes this is the consequence of the poor results in the satisfaction maybe the for the customers and uh, now they have another problem that the government they day by day they ch keep changing the rules and they have to buy the rights and everything. This is another and uh, here is the. The revenue of uh, Comcast Corporation. Oh, their stock or, price. Yeah. The hist history of the stock price. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It comes down and it's going up. Um, and that's it. Any questions? So where is Comcast in danger at this point? They're the largest cable company, but they have a high risk point in two areas. Anybody? <coughs> Their subscribers aren't happy with the service. Yeah. And it's easy to provide it by other people, so it's not as high interest area like it used to be. With satellite, their alternatives, but, but the physical plant is very hard to get in to have a right, business. Right, but now you don't need that as much. I mean, right, so it, so Verizon well. might become a competitor, and the wireless people might become competitors, and the other is rising content costs. Remember, we talked about that 50-year copyright component. Well, if you want the latest, hottest people to get it and distribute it on your cable network, you have to pay the distribution rights. And so the cost of content is coming up. So they have two major threats, which is makes sense then why they bought a company that creates content. So they can distribute more of their own. What, what are the channels? Can you go back to the slide of all the channels that they own? And I think it was the second slide. Go to your home. Uh, you should be able to just click in the middle. Anyway. So here we go. So we have... They own Comcast Sports, Cable NBC, Universal NBC, Sprout, Bravo. They own Hulu. They own Hulu, Sci-Fi, iVillage. Mm -hmm. All of the USA Network television. So they don't pay royalties on content distributed on any of those channels to other people. They pay it back to themselves and then to the authors. So they've eliminated the studio portion of their revenue. Uh, dispersion. Now they're coming back up. Um, so they're distributing it and they're creating it and then they're carrying other people's content. Okay. So in your summary, what do you, was this an interesting case study? Yes. And what did you like about it? What did you learn? What did you not like? That uh, I didn't know that they own and they have they produce their own content and they pr um, distribute. I didn't know that about. I said I thought only they only distribute on the television, maybe or uh, but they own the theme parks. I didn't know that. Part. And uh, it's a huge company, and uh, over the USA they are the leaders. Now are they international at all? Do they have any international revenue of any kind? No. no. So they're purely domestic. Yeah. Okay. Um, however, the content is distributed all over the world. Yeah. Okay. And do you have a breakdown um, in the profit and loss statement no, of which, where the money comes from, what the pie looks like? No, I haven't got that. 
Okay, so that's something I'd like to see. Okay. Is with if they have the four different divisions, mm -hmm. how much money is each division adding or contributing to the pie? Okay. Um, kind of like when we looked at the Disney pie chart. Mm -hmm. Same type of thing. We can okay. compare it. How much was coming from television? How much was coming from studios? How much was coming from oh, okay. Okay. whatever, whatever. Yeah. Um, and let's see. And again, some. Uh, it would also be interesting to see a little more information about their products. So okay. product screenshots. Mm -hmm. um, something to help us understand and relate that. Oh yeah, I know that. I buy that. I didn't know it was owned by Comcast, mm -hmm. but I own that. Okay. Um, and we can talk about what that might look like later. Um, and then their expansion strategy, okay. where they're looking to go in the future. So again, this is very good mm -hmm. about where they are today. Okay. Um, where they came from was covered. You know, mm -hmm. 1,200 people in Mississippi, or, or yeah. sorry, where was it that they started? In Mississippi. In Mississippi, yeah. and now they're in Philadelphia, so yeah, they moved north. Yeah. Um, so where they came from, where they are, where okay. they are now. Um, we missed the fact that they just recently bought the remaining portion from mm -hmm. General Electric, so it's yeah. no longer a GE mm -hmm. joint venture. Okay. Um, now they're hundred percent. Now they hundred percent own Universal and mm -hmm. NBC. Okay. Um, and then where they're going, where they're going in the future, and I think you started to see it with their growth. Mm -hmm. Their revenues are up increasingly. Yeah, twelve percent increase. Yeah, year over year. That's yeah. but a hundred percent over four years. Yeah. That's pretty yeah, amazing. Yeah. Um, how many people have doubled their revenue in the last four years? That's going to be a smart requirement. Like, they yeah. require companies. Exactly. So it's not like, it's not organized. Like, if anything, the yeah. customers are not happy that they're buying other companies that are doing well. So. Exactly. Yeah. So it's interesting to see what they're doing because they're getting yeah, bigger they're smart, and smart. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Very good. Let's give her a hand. Thank you. And let's check the camera, see how we did, folks, please.